Okay, well, welcome everybody. <laughs> Here we are playing Seven Days to Die. And um, you know, as I'm recording this, we're, we're streaming. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm just. We're gonna head off to where we started, and then we're gonna come back here, show you around, and see what we've done. So we'll be right back when we get back to the other base. <laughs> Let me know when you're gonna ha ha have the coffee. Okay. I'm gonna have it about halfway. Well, about. Uh, I'm gonna drink it now. Kind of sit there. Yeah. Might slowly go up, but I think we'll. You know, I'm I'm just running blind. I'm not even going in direction that. I think we need to go in this direction. Well, I'm I've got the waypoints. Oh, set, okay. Because so, I'm because I'm digging towards it, right? So. Gotcha. Oh look, no. there's a supply drop. Oh yeah, there's lots down here. There's a couple of them. Okay. Coming up to Actually, our... You get the one... What? Are you recording now? Yeah, I'm recording now. It's just... Oh, crap, there's one. a lot of them here. So would you say which one do you want me to go to? Oh, it doesn't matter. I was, I was... Oh, this one's Let's actually pretty close. Tour. Okay, so here yeah, we are. We're, is... we're back <laughs> at our base. This is our original yeah. starting location. I think there's even yeah, some we got stuff. a nice convenient airdrop here. The the pilot was nice to drop us something, a little present. Exactly. He aimed it relatively close. Um, there's some spikes even yeah. that are unfinished Ooh, it's good on, on too. here. Painkillers, bandages, antibiotics, leg armor, iron nice. leg armor, and uh, water. Nice, nice. Bunch of water. Nice. And so yeah, and so here. Um, these spikes are just upgraded to the wood level. They're not even upgraded to scrap, which is funny. This is our first kind of version of defense, zombie defense. Oh, these are all now untouched. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, the bird's nest. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, let's see if these things respond. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, see, see these lockers all here. We uh, we placed these, right? We, we picked them up in the wasteland. We placed them here and to see if they would respawn. And they certainly do respawn. Yeah. So yeah, we have our own, very own uh, <laughs> spawning room. That is hilarious. Yep. Good. Oh. Nice. Some more pain pills. Uh, just some brass and pain pills and gunpowder. Cool. Usual stuff. Right on. No, yeah, exactly. And I know in the start, when we started, we were on the other side of the river there. We were hopping back and forth um, you know, while we were building this place. Um, yeah, it was kind of fun. You know, we got the wood kind of from across the, the river. I chopped yep. some of the trees down here, and as soon as we had the wall around, then that's where I could start you know, clear cutting all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this yeah. is like a good first defense if if you're, uh, you know, basically starting. You don't have to make it so big. You just need a campsite where you have a campfire and forge and chest, and then you can build a wood wall around it really easily, and then you're you know you're good. Yeah. Yeah. Against the zombies. Yeah, and I put these little uh, fence posts on the other side, on the inside here, just so that way we can see where the ladder is. I just, I hate having to yeah. always look carefully down. And, oh, is that the ladder? So I just put something to identify it. It's helped a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. And then we'll head back to the main base again, and and uh, carry on with the video there. Yeah. Okay, here we are coming back to our our base. Basically what we did when we came into this area, we I guess I don't know. 
Why did we go into this apartment? I don't really remember why. I, I just know it was on the edge and it, it... Well, basically, we first we came in just to do a loot run to see what we would get out of it, right? And then we worked our way to this the roof, and then we, we thought, hey, this roof would be a nice place for a base yeah. because it was up high enough, it was flat. We thought maybe the just the rooftop would be our base. Yeah. Could, you know, there was places where you could put dirt down to make farms. Yeah. So and it yeah. seemed fairly safe. So that's why. And then it just kind of, I I noticed it was on the corner of the city. So I figured, well, why not just take over the whole block? Gotcha. Okay. So that's why I was on the corner. I figured that's the reason. Yeah. yeah I just yeah. wanted to make sure. Yeah. It's yeah. just a good building at the corner, at the edge of the the map, basically. And, Yep. Yeah. So it's kind of like the main base now, or the main compound, or it turned into a compound. It was a base, and now it's a more of a compound, I think. Yeah. Exactly. Kind of like a bigger base. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we utilized the structure, which is cool, as well. So, yep. So this is where we kind of our main work area up here on top, which you see yep. in so many videos. <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna actually change soon, hopefully. Because uh, now that the wall's done, we're gonna yeah. change the rooms downstairs to make like forging rooms and yeah. stuff. So. And we're gonna do this from the top down to make it easier. Basically, okay. I've I've made access from the roof down, um, and then inside here, I've just put in basically the the windows. I've upgraded with the scrap, uh, and then the balconies I sealed off, and I did that for our, all of them, basically. Uh, yeah, I'm going to edit the video to have it brighter, so it's not like it matters if it's nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> nighttime, we can go, or I mean daytime, we can go exploring. Um, see, these are still empty. I've been kind of tearing off uh, little things, like destroying the lights that are in the roof. There's scrap metal everywhere in these places, basically. Yeah, um, you could even take, like, the fridges apart if you and the stove if you want, the oven if you wanted to. Yeah. It doesn't really spawn anything more. That yeah, but if we move it. to somewhere else, right, we'll have to take our beds probably, and and, and uh, this will no longer be secure, so all those will be spawned when we come back, right? Yeah, but there's not much in there that really matters. Yeah, true. It's just food and stuff. <laughs> but down here, it's kind of same. Oh, same thing. Uh, let me go. Let's see. So, so what I think what we were thinking with the rooms, uh, one more, is one more level. I think it's this level. This is the ground, almost ground. Okay, yeah. I think what we were thinking is in one of these or whatever, converting it into like a, I don't know, like a weapons thing or or whatever, like different purposes, I guess, for, for the yeah. different rooms. You know. Yeah. Because we have yeah. the surplus of medical supplies, have a medical room. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have like each room specific to a certain task. One room yeah. for, you know, for making iron, and one room for making brass. <laughs> and we put a bunch of lockers and just have nothing but scrap iron or scrap brass in the lockers. You know. Yeah. Why not? We got the room. Yeah. Exactly. That's and what's that cool way, about this. And then when the fun pips add uh, signs to the game, we can just put signs above the room. What What's in each room? <laughs> right. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, that awesome update they're going to do to add signs to the game. <laughs> and now we're going to go down into the mine. I want to show the yeah. progress we've done with this, the tunnel and everything. Uh, is that zombies that we're hearing? Yeah, it's a horde. Yeah. Should we just, uh, I guess we're okay, right? Or just yeah, we're okay. okay. No, they're dying on the wall. It's fine. Yeah. Perfect. So go down here. So basically, we made it down to... Supposedly, what's supposed to be bedrock, but underneath yeah, this is, is void. <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, basically, Lushalbaco has been uh, using TNT. Oh, yeah, it's on. Okay. Using TNT has been uh, making our way slowly and just kind of heading out this way. I'm not sure if we'll go all the way to the end. Maybe. I'll probably cut some of this. Um, it's been going along and you know, has been harvesting the, the resources along the way. Um, I'm just seeing. So, wow, he actually cleared out quite a bit. Yep. And this is all being converted and put into the rebar that's went around the the wall because. Yep. Yeah. You know, we we started with collecting all the kind of girders all around, uh, but then you started to do the mine here and then. The, or the tunnel and then 
yeah, I just came across all the resources. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. It's like the the iron veins are they're just huge, just huge amounts of iron. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this one. This, woo, yeah, I dug all that out today. Yeah, <laughs> dug that pocket out today. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there might be tons. more here too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's so funny. There's like 28 pieces in that pocket. Wow. Yeah. So definitely. Oh, yeah. Here's the and bed. See, oh. Yeah. See here. You want? You know? I know what's really funny. Okay. Here's the bedrock, right? Yeah. But over here is the void where that this brick thing is. Right. Right. And then over here on this side, this is void here too. So the bedrock is only in this little tiny portion. Weird. For whatever reason. This is the only thing that's spawned bedrock huh. so far. Yeah, you'd have to expose all around and see what... Yeah, I have no idea why. It might be a project. You know, Maybe we'll just do that anyways to see how big this is. Yeah, And, and you can see here the bedrock actually sticks up, right? Yeah, it should exactly, do that, which is right? weird. Yeah. yeah. It'd be neat to blow out a, a whole area here just to see what it looks yeah. like. Yeah. So maybe it'll be a good spot for a little underground uh, I don't know, feature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, and here we go at the end. Okay, okay. Yeah. Some more resources galore. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so we don't really have to run out. Yeah, if you look on the map, right, is where it's almost at the base there. That is so cool. Which the clay deposits, they're all nearby there. There's, It's by the river there, you see. It there. Yeah. It's really easy to find clay. Okay, cool, cool. Well, we're just going to head back to the compound area to show that. And so we'll be right back when we get there. Okay, well, here's the compound level, basically. Oh, yeah, you're coming. So what I did down here is there's some aesthetical trees, which are these trees here. <laughs> I don't touch these trees, but this is our tree farm area here. Uh, basically, I figured four rows of trees as closely, tightly packed as it can be. Uh, so basically what I'll do at one point is when we need wood is I'll run down these with the chainsaw. And, you know, <laughs> oh, what was that? Uh oh, I'm hungry. Oh, okay. That scared me. I thought there was something <laughs> dangerous, hazardous that I forgot about. Yeah. No, I'm just hungry. And then on the other side of this, once this building is gone and everything, this whole side will be used for the goldenrod farm when that when they add that. <laughs> I'll dig this all out and it'll be one big huge goldenrod farm. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll just do plots and maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe that'll be used for something else. That'll be blank yeah. for a while. Um, this is kind of like our farm area. I, I converted the the shack. I just basically replaced the stuff that was there with with these bricks that you can find in the area. Um, and I put no windows on it because I didn't want any windows on it. It's like a storage shed. And this just has some boxes for some you know, farming goods. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. And then this is the farm. Oh, the blueberries are ready, but we'll leave it. And basically, I've devoted a patch, a 9x9 nine nine patch, to each crop in the game, I think. Um, I think right now we can do potatoes, we can do coffee beans, we can do corn, which looks like it's growing like that. I made them tightly packed. I want to see if it worked. Uh, blueberries, which we lucked out in finding. <laughs> and the cotton, of course, yeah. which, I don't know, it's just for show. Just to have it if you need it for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know what we need cotton for. So, Duh. just for the clothing armor, but like the cloth armor. But it's actually funny how it sways. Yeah. Like the other crops don't do that. Yeah. And then over in this kind of section of the compound, the wall's all done. That's what we worked on. We basically used rebar and you know the iron that came from the mine down there that we were in. Um, turned into the wall <laughs> yep and some of it was used for the balconies which I'll show um, it's actually coming into daytime which is good oh, it's empty purse uh, this is kind of like the the parking garage that we took over that was next door yeah no they haven't respawned yet I don't think they ever will <clears throat> well when we leave it'll oh yeah respond. exactly that's why we didn't really destroy any of this stuff lootable stuff because we want to be able to loot it again at some point. 
And so, yeah, so back here you see all the balconies. They're all covered up. And so I went in through each of those, and you basically one balcony a day I could do sometimes two balconies. Because so I had to chop down trees, and I had to harvest resources in, uh, in the meantime while I was building those at night. And then you know, during the day I'd be out here chopping trees down <laughs> and collecting you know, uh, girders around. I remember doing all that. Was... Yeah, and all these different looking blocks are where the zombies were chewing the building apart yeah. until we got the spikes in place. Yeah, they actually broke in in the corner over here by this tree here. Yeah. Uh, right in here when we had it. This, yeah, it looks small here, but they had it all hollowed out in there. And yeah. The, you know, they were yeah. running right into the whole building. It was yeah, crazy. that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I had to repair the floor, basically. The good old days when zombies used to exist. <laughs> Before they were extinct. Yeah, that's still here. We'll have to get rid of that. And the car here. Yeah, it's a little bit of cleanup. Yeah. Oh yeah, of do. course. Oh yeah. That's kind of cool though. This is our ride, right here. Yeah. <laughs> that's why there's the two cars. So if they ever had cars, we'll have yeah, these ones yeah. here already. Yeah. <laughs> Mix them up and go. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just gonna show uh, the outside of the wall here. Just so you see the defense mechanism we have. And we've also discovered that it's too short with the new mechanics a little bit. Um, so basically double row of spikes. Um, we have the wall three high, is it? Yeah, I think three blocks yeah, high. Yeah, three high right now, yeah. yeah. And then up on top there's the uh, defense post to stop them from... Well, to stop the spider zombies from climbing. But I think because of the two rows... And with them being against the wall, they kind of they push on each, each other. other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then he, boom, they they pop up, and, and then they're yeah. inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Because we have to that's open the fine. doors anyways to let them in once yeah. there's a horde. Yeah, so. it was a lot of work just to get to this point. So, you know, we'll add that extra roll at some point. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah. And so now, basically, future footage and all that will be... Us adventuring the great unknown. <laughs> yeah. So for a while, and then we'll maybe find a new spot and build a different kind of base. Yep. Cool. There you go. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs>